Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some new set photos of the Obi-Wan Kenobi set. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Greetings, Exalted Ones. Welcome to Star Wars Coffee, the only place on the internet that you need to stay up to date with all things Star Wars. We're talking the latest Star Wars news, leaks, and of course, as always, giving you my analysis. Channel memberships are now live, and for $1.99 a month, you can get exclusive videos from me weekly as we rewatch the entire Star Wars series together. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series is getting underway. We keep getting more set leaks, and this is great news because this means that this show is just that much closer to airing. So we have some new set leaks from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series today, and yes, I know what some of you daily coffee drinkers are probably thinking, is this actually from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Because for months at this point, literally months at this point, the media has been reporting that these set photos that we keep seeing leaked are from the Obi-Wan Kenobi set, when in actuality, they are from the Cassian Andor set. You can go check out those videos on the channel of all of the Cassian set leaks, and there are a ton of Cassian set leaks. We did have a couple of Kenobi set leaks for real, where we had a TikTok video that lasted about a minute of somebody driving through the Obi-Wan set, and now it appears that we have new set photos from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series via Noah Outlaw of Kessel Run Transmissions. And this appears to be of Luke's home, the Lars Moisture Farm, where two generations of the Lars family sought to make a living on this hard scrabble moisture farm on Tatooine, contending not just with the planet's hot and arid conditions, but also with vicious bands of Tusken Raiders. Anakin Skywalker visited the farm in search for his mother, and however, she had been kidnapped by Tuskens. Later, Luke grew up there, raised by Owen and his wife Beru, while Obi-Wan Kenobi kept watch from afar. So, we know that the reason I bring this up is because this is essentially the history of the Lars Moisture Farm. And we know that this is actually what this is because we also have this photo of Obi-Wan's house thanks to the Star Wars databank. And its description is, after the fall of the Republic and near the extinction of the Jedi Order, Obi-Wan Kenobi spent his exile in a simple house, a simple house in Tatooine's Jundaland Wastes. There he learned to commune with the spirit of his former master, Qui-Gon Jinn, and watched over Anakin Skywalker's son, Luke. I read the description to you because those of you daily coffee drinkers again will know that the last time we talked, we had a video about Qui-Gon appearing in the show. Well, now the Star Wars databank for Obi-Wan's house has been updated to bring to the fact and bring to the light that he was talking to his former master, Qui-Gon Jinn, in this house. So that would make much more sense for the appearance of Qui-Gon as well. I just wanted to throw that a little bit in there. But what we're looking at are these leaked photos from the Kenobi set, which appear to be Luke's farm. And again, we know this because if you take a look at the Obi-Wan house, the structure of this is completely different, where for the Luke farm you see it's much more round whereas the Obi-Wan walls are much more rectangular. So this is fantastic news and the other reason that this is likely Luke's house is because we know that we are going to be seeing Owen Lars. So whether or not we see Beru is another thing, but I know we're going to be see we're going to see Owen because the I can't the actor's name is slipping my mind at the moment, but he's going to be reprising the role as Owen. And so we've known this for about two or three years at this point that he's going to be reprising the role and it was officially announced at this point. And so this is just such great news because we are getting that much closer. It looks like principal photography is going to be getting underway very shortly if it is not already. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. May God bless you and the force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.